Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to talk about my September favorites with a little bit of October favorites. So it's going to be more like my current favorite because I know I'm late to the party. <laughs> I didn't have time to film my September favorite before, so I'm doing it now. So let's just do it. Before I start, I want to say I live in a busy street and this is like the worst time to film because I have a school nearby and parents are going to pick up their kids right now and there is a lot of kids like running, screaming, but this is the time I have. I can't do it any other time. So let's just do it and I'm sorry about the background noise. Really, it really annoys me too, but I can't, there's nothing I can do. So let's just start. I'm going to start with makeup because I have quite a lot of makeup things to talk about. Uh, the first one is this Chanel powder. This is the uh, Universal, uh, Universal Compact in Forti Dore. And I started using this in August uh, because it was the perfect uh, shade after I went on a weekend getaway and I got a little tan. So I wanted to maintain it with my with my powder, and I love this powder so much. I forgot how much I love it because I, because I stopped using it. Uh, I don't remember like one year ago, and I came back to it. I came back to this, and I love it. First, the texture is so nice. It looks so natural. It gives you a really nice velvety finish, but with a little bit of glow. It doesn't have any shimmer in it, but. It, it just gives you a really nice golden look and that's why I keep using it even, even if I don't have my tan anymore I love how this maintains quite like a color a really nice golden color on my skin I just love it and I've been wearing this non-stop since, uh, since August of course it's on the pricey side but Chanel never does it wrong so if you're looking for a really good quality powder I highly recommend this one Another favorite is this Stila palette. This is the Eyes Are the Window shadow palette in mine. All the colors on this palette are matte, but you can create so many looks. First, this screams autumn, like totally. Look at these colors. And you can create some amazing like um, eye makeup for nighttime or daytime or whatever you want. Actually, the eye makeup I have right now is using only this palette. Uh, the makeup trail is going to be up next after this video, I think. If I put it before, I'm going to put the link down below, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be the next one. Uh, but it's an amazing palette. You can create so many looks with it. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing this for all autumn and winter. It's a great, great palette. Another thing I'm obsessed with are liquid lipsticks because, you know, you just apply it and you forget about it. And the first one I love is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in a Go-Go. This is a really bright orange, but an amazing color, amazing quality. These are my favorite liquid lipstick because the quality of this is great. Um, this color, every time I wear, I wear it, I get so many compliments because it's a bright, bright orange. I did a makeup tutorial using this, I think it was my last video, so if you want to watch it, you can go now. I'm going to put the link down below as well. But it's a really nice color, and because it's orange, I think I can still, you know, wear it on autumn. Why not? Uh, but a new addition to my makeup collection, uh, to my makeup collection, are these ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. I bought four, but I couldn't find I couldn't find the other one. So I have three here. The first one is this one that I'm wearing right now, Beeper. It's a really nice, beautiful burgundy red color. The second one is Lax. That is more a deep of a deep burgundy uh, color, more for a vampy look. And the third one here that is my favorite is uh, Avenue that is more of an everyday color uh, is this one right here. I've been wearing this one pretty much every single day since I got it because it's for, like, for me it's more of an everyday look. So I love this uh, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip even if they are not as good as the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I think the quality of this one is way better. With this one, after you eat more of it, something greasy, you have to touch up. But for the price, you actually get a really good product. So if you're looking for new liquid lipsticks and you haven't tried this one, I highly recommend them. I have one skincare product and it's this uh, Tea Tree Oil Antioxidant Facial Treatment Serum 
by Sonoma Naturals. It's funny because I bought this, not because I wanted this syrup, just, I just needed tea tree oil because I wanted to do like a um, home uh, DIY project with face masks and scrubs. And I couldn't find the regular tea tree oil, so I, I bought this one. And one month or one and a half month ago, um, I was on my bathroom and I saw it. I was like, it says it's a serum. I should start using it as it is. And I st I'm stick to it because it's a really nice serum. I feel like it brightens up my skin. I feel like it cleanses my skin. It hydrates my skin because it's an oil. And I can see a difference when I apply it. And that's when I know a serum is a good serum. When I can't see a difference, like right after I apply it. My skin looks so much better. I try to use this every single day, if not every other day. But I like to be consecutive with this one because it actually says use every day before moisturizing. And you can, you can use it at, um, in the morning and at night and you only need like two drops. So this is going to last me forever. But the smell is also so good, so relaxing that when I'm applying it, I close my eyes and I give a little massage. It's so, so relaxing. So if you're looking for a new serum, more of a natural kind, I highly recommend this one. I'm going to try to find a link to it uh, and I'm going to put it down below. If not, I'm going to try to put at least the name of the brand so you can look for it. Another favorite is a YouTube channel and it's the Wild Dish YouTube channel. I love food channels, I love watching recipes to get inspired, I love eating healthy, I have to eat healthy for a um, stomach condition, I have IBS if you didn't know. So there are a lot of things that I can't eat, so I like to be created on the kitchen so to eat delicious food. So Wild Dish is a YouTube channel that has amazing recipes. They are simple to make, uh, the ingredients are in hard to find, so you get inspired and you can create the recipes step by step. I just love the channel and I wanted to give them a shout out, so I'm going to put the link down below. And another favorite is related to food and it's a nap. Is called Food Gawker and I think that's how it's called. I'm pretty sure that's how it's called. Or that's how you pronounce it because that's the name. I'm going to put the, the name right here so you can you can see it. But it's an amazing app because you have so many recipes. So many. You can actually, if you're looking for a particular thing, yeah, I want to make risotto or cannelloni or pasta or cookies, then you search like cookies and you can also uh, like search by filters like gluten-free uh, or desserts or pastas and you have so so many recipes you are going to find whatever you need to find I think it's a genius app I've been actually using that app since 2012 or 13 maybe I went back to I think it's since yeah, 2013. It's a really, you actually can also, it's not only an app, it's also a website. So I use both of them when I'm looking for inspiration, like I'm in the mood for pasta, but I'm not in the creative mood, so let me see what, what I can find. I always find something and then I just make it. So I'm going to put also the link down below because if you're into cooking as I am, you will love this app for sure. So those were all my favorites. I didn't have a lot, but I had a few that I wanted to share with you. I didn't want to keep another favorite video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have some similar uh, favorites. And if you have tried like natural serums like this one, because I'm, every time I try something that is more natural and I see that it works, then I start saying like, I should use more natural products because you know they're better for your skin and if they work, and it's a super plus. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope you have an amazing week and thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss further videos. If you want to follow me on all my social media, um, my links are going to be down below as always. And I guess I will see you again very soon. Bye. Then for my eyes, I start with this palette. This is the Stila uh, Mind palette. Uh, it's all matte, it's beautiful, it has some amazing colors. So I'm going to be using this a lot on autumn because as you can see, all the colors are very autumny. 